Hey, I've got battery, I've got battery. Um, here's a special video for you today. I'm going to drive around the outskirts of the city and then drive through some of the centre streets. Show you how many people are out and about. Now we're in good old L3. been doing a little bit of discontent lately and well I figure I might as well kind of gets me out of the house at the same time as entertains you lot so I guess anything that gets those two objectives fulfilled is good even though I've got a split week uh, all, all month I've got split weeks so yeah Those of you who are watching not from New Zealand but from around the world and are still unsure as to what New Zealand means by level 3 um, basically construction has gone back, forestry has gone back, shops are allowed to open if they can keep it contactless and WorkSafe New Zealand is auditing at the moment really hard so they could be shut down for the remainder until we hit level zero basically absolute normality what even normal is but that's another point so forestry and construction workers so long as they, they've got distance between them and everything like that, masks, gloves, you name it, they're good. Um, shops that aren't allowed to open include hairdressers, which is why if I turn the camera to my face, it's an absolute flipping mess, because um, I haven't been able to get my hair done in over a month now I don't mind the longer hair um, that's personal preference though and yeah hairdressers restaurants Bars are still not allowed to open. Um, any place that has to have some form of close contact to do their job, basically, is not allowed to open. If you can do your job from two meters away, good on you. Essential places like rest homes, hospitals, healthcare workers, all those who have to get within, well within a metre to do their job, are the ones who have to be open. We would not survive if it weren't for them. 
huge thumbs up big hugs and thank you for being there to the healthcare workers on the front line and beyond the ones who are literally putting themselves at risk day in day out with this kind of thing I know what it's like insecurity I kind of do my job most of the time from about a metre and a half away sometimes I've got to get a bit closer because the person's out of hearing but yeah it's a bit of a pain not being able to completely two metres away I mean Oh, and then I've got to get within an arm length, which I estimate to be a roughly, roughly uh, three quarters of a metre to do the temperature and to get my paper, to get the paperwork back. And yeah, it's just like it is what it is. At the end of the day, it is what it is. If you want more information on that line, Google it. There's a few decent articles out there about that line. It is what it is. Um, yeah. So all these pubs down here are all closed still, which is good, good, good news. I guess, now we're on level three, I guess restaining the deck is all part of the gig, but if last time I saw him doing that, it was level four. Yeah, <coughs> interesting. <laughs> um, There's a bunch of people down at the wharf, all look like they were about two metres apart. But anyhow, basically, trades opened up, you've got Mitre 10 doing click and collect only, you've got, um, you've got, uh, what the hell are they called? The warehouse is doing click and collect only, I believe, all home deliveries. Harvey Norman is not doing click and collect. They are one of the people doing home deliveries only. And I believe they're charging a pre premium for their home delivery service. Uh, well, if it's a huge piece of tech, and it does require a decent home delivery system I don't mind but yeah it's a bit wonky and perfume point is still closed mm -hmm. okay I'm still surprised no one's actually moved those um that barrier and those cones that's easy enough to move, but I'm surprised. <laughs> Looks like Hot Chick might be doing uh, online orders only, click and collect kind of thing. Playgrounds are now open, well, should now be open again, even though the ones around here have all got closed on them still. And all it is, it's a bunch of signs. It's like half a dozen signs or something. It's not a fence, it's not wrapped them in the orange, the orange fencing, the plastic fencing from construction sites or anything like that. Yeah, I can think of a lot of other ways to 
to encourage people not to use them apart from just signs very trusting very 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 trusting in a world where I wouldn't trust too many people with a barge pole reason I'm out and about today it was essential and imperative I got some more gas for my little cooker so I could turn around and boil some waters so I can have a hot drink um, at work so typically Work's not obligated to supply you anything like that. But I wouldn't mind seeing a small genie, small generator, uh, genie for sure, and that's what I'll call it from now on. But small genie um, out by the tent. A few lights inside the tent. Especially early for early morning, you can flick the lights off when when it's kind of kind of brightened up a bit and then you can turn around and um, connect the jug to it if you want or if you've got the charging cord, cord and a wall charger for your phone your phone runs out or gets low on battery you can plug the damn thing in yeah, simple stuff like right that. I think it's safe to say that Roadworks is back up and running. Pools aren't open yet. Still closed. They won't be open to probably level one. I think level two or level one is when we're allowed close contact again. And arbitrarily the government elected to wait two weeks before making a decision on on whether we stay at level three or go down to level two very arbitrarily
street lights are still on up here. Um, scratch my head. I don't think you need to have street lights. It's bright enough. we don't have any big clusters um, to be honest and if we do it's usually the same household from the looks of things so a lot of people around here have been listening for once fucking a I'm going to fly into Teradale, 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 and um, and pretty much go around Teradale, come back over into Napier. Show you the insides. Um, yeah. I 
dude, get off the road, you flipping car. I'm going straight through. Two cars, two cars. No, no. He didn't stop far enough back to see down the um, bridge, which is why he crept forward.
wonder wheel right there. There's one thing I'm having to watch at the moment because I've got uh, basically naked tyres. Um, I need new shoe, new automotive shoes on my feet. But apart from that, at the moment, hardly any tread on the tyres. Very easy to spin the tyre. Very, very easy. written in my boat I think I know what it is it'll be my camping chair so if you're hearing that rattle please ignore it there's nothing critical nothing critical someone's getting ready for a massive burn off what I've got on my stick uh, I think it's not copyrighted by and I have a funny feeling it won't get copyrighted by the guys who performed it it's likely to be copyrighted by the main author um, which absolutely sucks because it's not even them um, singing it or anything yeah they wrote the song lyrics and Maybe did the original performance, but that's it. It is literally a cover. And when it was performed, it was performed underneath uh, la, 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 Creative Commons. So, if anyone knows what the ruling, because it's been ages since I've done anything to do with copyright. If you know what the ruling is um, of a of a song that might be copyright when it was originally written and performed, but the guys I've got on record or on the USB stick here, it's a CD I pulled off onto digital MP3 files. Um, singing it under Creative Commons copyright so if you know whether that's okay to bung up on YouTube I know content ID will probably kick in because YouTube's content ID is pretty flippin fast actually um, and I have done I have done that like literally uploaded uploaded a video which is literally just a picture with the song underneath it to see whether it'll turn around and uh, content ID it first if it doesn't content ID it um, then any, I know pretty much any copyright claim I get from it will be absolute BS but I'm not going to try that with a half hour flipping video 45 minute video because there's not much to see down there today I'm more interested on who's out and about and that road's going to be empty as always uh, I've got 
got a few people, a few contractors, a few staff members, uh, maybe a couple of students here and there, but that'll be that. Not bad, but not good for EIT. They made the campus to be used, not to be deserted. I tell you what though, I know the campus well enough that if they do abandon it at any stage, if they abandon it and I know and I've got any idea who the security is, I'm going to see if I can turn around and gain access to the buildings etc. Get it down urbex style. thing is, I know that build, those buildings will be absolutely clean buildings. What I mean by that is not the state of the dust in them. I know they're clean because there's no asbestos in there. Um, yeah, let's go down here. always handy to know 